Hey guys, just Xraxy here. Today I'm showing you how to tame the Ovis and what it's useful for. Now, to start off, where do I find it? Now, it spawns on all three maps and generally sticks to snow biomes and mountainous biomes and some of the grasslands in between. Now, I'm actually going to pop up the maps right now, one after another, so you guys can either screenshot them or have an idea of where you're looking for them. But unfortunately, at this time, a lot of the map data is unknown because they're so new to the game. So I'm going to show you what I've got at the date of making this video, and hopefully that will be able to help you. Now, after you've found one, how do you tame it? Well, it's actually the quickest and easiest tame you'll probably ever have to do. They require one sweet vegetable cake, no matter what level, which is obviously pretty easy. Now, once you've tamed your Ovis, they can be used for two different things. First of all, you can shear them to get wool with a pair of scissors which can be used as a pelt replacement, which obviously stops you having to go into the snow biome and things like that. So that's pretty good. It's nothing game changing, but it, it's still something. Now, the second one is the biggest thing that has been recently changing arc and the taming just a little bit. So if you kill them and harvest them for their meat, you'll find that you get raw mutton. Now, the best way to harvest this is actually with a very high level Therizino, which are known to be really good, or with a pick if you've got nothing else, or even with a carnivore that's good at harvesting prime meat because they're kind of treated in the same way. Now, unfortunately, there isn't anything that's ranked officially number one because, again, the dino is so new to the game. But a lot of people have been talking about raw mutton being better than the preferred kibble of that dino. Well, this isn't necessarily true. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick test for you guys. So... I've got two 120 Carnos knocked out laying in front of you. One I'm going to feed kibble, the preferred kibble of its kind, and the other I'm going to feed raw mutton. And we're going to say which one's going to gain the most levels and which one's going to tame the quickest. So guys, I'm back and after watching the Carnos for a short amount of time, I've noticed that raw mutton only requires 50 missing food for the Carno to proceed to eat it and then gain its taming. However, the kibble Carno requires 80 missing food to eat one of its kibble. So very quickly, you can begin to see how this is going to go down. Raw mutton gets eaten faster, but is kibble going to give more taming effectiveness in the long run? Well, they both give exactly the same when it comes to the taming bar. So the raw mutton actually seems more effective. And it is. It tames much faster. It's kind of easier to get hold of in a way, or easier to make, I guess. But the kibble still yields a slightly higher taming effectiveness, which is literally a couple, depending on your tame, obviously, is literally 0.2 or 0.3% in this case. So it really doesn't make much difference, and they still ended up being the same level. So I thought I'd go off my own back and do a little bit more research with some 150 gigas, so the max and biggest carnivore you could get in the game. And I thought, you know what, that 0.3% might make a difference, so it may make it worth getting the Quetzals, getting the Quetzal eggs, making the kibble, going through all that agonizing time, and it doesn't. Not even in the slightest. They still tame to be 220 maximum. They both end up being the exact same level with very similar taming effectiveness. I think the difference was 0.5 or 0.6%. I may be a little bit wrong on those. I do apologize, guys. I should have kept those up, but I didn't. They literally just... Mutton is best. And the benefit of mutton is... You can find an Ovis, just say you just roam past, you see one, pick it up with an RG or your Quetzal, or pretty sure they can be carried by Wivens as well. They can be carried by pretty much anything. And you can sit there, tame them with one single vegetable cake, no matter what level it is. You can always carry the right amount for them. Take them home, feed them on berries, which they eat very little. Admittedly, they have no health, no stamina. Their melee attack, attack damage, I didn't even know they did one, but they, apparently they do an attack, but it's awful. And I tried it, it is awful. They can get killed by literally anything that hits. However, when it comes to you and your tribe wanting to tame that 150 giga, you can have five or six sheep sitting there waiting. All you have to do is unclaim them, beat them a few times with a pike, so don't level health, obviously, if you're planning on using them as meat bags, essentially. And you've got, an, well, not an infinite supply, but as much as you have decided to stock up, you have almost an infinite supply of raw mutton to feed your Giga. You can kill them 
every 40 minutes. So after that, the raw mutton has spoiled on the Giga's inventory. You can kill them. And I think it has really changed tame, well, bigger tames. Smaller tames barely seem worth it. It depends. I guess if you're on the center map and you want, you know, that maximum level you can get. But in reality, I don't think it matters too much with the smaller tames. It's just those huge gigas, max level rexes. Raw mutton is definitely the way to go. Not only, like I said, it's faster, gives almost the same taming effectiveness, but it gives the same levels, so who really cares? It's it's fantastic so guys i think i've rambled on long enough i tried to keep this nice and short for you guys so it would be short sharp information that you needed for taming your ovis and what they were going to be used for if there's any questions please let me know in the comments down below and if i helped you please leave a like rating because guys i want to know whether i helped you or not i tried this is what i've gone out and this is what i've made i hope it does help you i really do good luck guys and i look forward to seeing you in the next video